<laughs> Sunfish Fun Fish Match Race, and today we're going to be talking about an auto attack. I am Billy Bob Clambake. And I'm Felipe Rinscotti. Felipe, we are joined by Katrina today, who's out racing in pretty gusty and shifty conditions. As you can see, a little bit forward of her on the water, there is a big gust coming. That looks like danger right there, Bob. So she's getting prepared for that gust, but what you can't always prepare for is it also happens to be, in this case, a 40 degree shift to the right. That causes an auto attack as shown here. Look out. She quickly lets go of the tiller to work herself over to the other side of the boat, gets control of the boat, uh, everything's good. She recaptures that tiller, no harm, no foul, the race can continue. Slow motion. That looked like some excellent reaction time from our sailor there, Billy Bob. She moves to the other side of the boat. She flattens that boat back down. She lets go of the tiller knowing that that's what's not important right now. But she has to regain that tiller. That's not easy to do. But look at this. Is she force capable? I think the term we're looking for is force sensitive. But it looks like it for sure. She used the force and recaptured that tiller and continues on. So that's an extra special advantage that not every sailor has. Yeah, I, I would say it's uh, definitely an advantage for sure. Well, Sunfish, Funfish, Match Race. We'll see you next time.